Ah, oh, just uh, bracing myself to go back. How about you? Had a lovely morning too? Oh, well, if David moves out for a bit like he says, that should make things easier. Yeah, if that's the right thing. I've been wondering whether I should go. I mean, I'm furious with him, but it's not my house or my family. Yeah, well, it's not you that's in the wrong. Hey! Uh, why aren't you at work? After what you've done? Well, it wasn't all his fault. Oh, well, how you're standing by him, Leanne, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah, do your little head shake thing. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go back there, but I don't want to see you there. Mm, it's my business. If it's anybody's business, it's Grand's. And after what you did to her, it wouldn't surprise me if you were behind the roof. Sarah, be careful what you say. I care about right and wrong, and I care about people's jobs, and nobody is going to want to work for you when they find out that you're guilty. So you stay away from there, and you stay away from me, because I want nothing to do with you, ever. So angry. How'd you take it? Oh, God, it, it don't matter. It don't matter. Right, come on, let's get back to work. <clears throat> Nick's been gone a long time. Well, yes, that's uh, very observant of you, Beth. Where it is, the police are going to charge him over the room. I wouldn't know. Will he be coming back today? Probably not. Cos we saw him going off with Paul, Mark. Look, I don't know, OK? Look, I'll tell you this. If he did cause Rana's death, then he deserves everything that is coming to him. I will not be protecting him, even if he is family. My priority now is just to keep this place going, right? And if you, if you want to keep your jobs, suggest you make it yours too. Look no further. <clears throat> Got a minute? Not really, no. I'm too busy trying to keep Nick's business afloat. Yeah, exactly. Nick's business. What do you want? You can't just get a shot of him, you know. A lecture. Right, I'm all right, thank you. And you can't run this place without him either. Well, I can give it a pretty good go, because I won't be laundering money through the account, and hopefully the roof won't come in with any luck. I'd watch your tongue if I were you. You heard what Nick's lawyer said. Sorry, can I just say that I think you should trust her? <coughs> Look, she's got this place running like clockwork. Why throw a spanner in the works, eh? Oh, hello, Gary. Didn't see you there. How's the building empire going? Good that she's got you advising her, eh? Is that what Rick did? Yeah. Yeah. And we're lucky we don't look the same. Yeah, maybe. Still, look on the bright side, at least she's still got a job, thanks to Nick, who's the only person that can run this place. We'll see. Yeah, we will. Because you know what? You've got no power to authorise anything. You can't hire people, you can't fire people, and you can't pay that lot without Nick releasing the cash, so I'd say you're going nowhere pretty fast. Where have you been? You doing a runner? Keep your hair on. Been kicked out, I'm not. What, your own hands? Just seemed easier for now. Right. You get my messages? Mm. Right, what you decided? What about your little deal where I take the blame for everything, you get to live happily ever after? No, the deal where you get everything, I get zilch. Mm. And my family never speak to me ever again. They came round, wouldn't they? Not before Sean has ran off and met somebody else. Well, you might meet someone else and think about what all that money would do for the children. I don't, I'm, I'm missing something. There's something you're not telling me. <laughs> no, no, look, look. All my cards are on the table. Look, uh, the police think I did the roof for the same reason we scammed Grant. I need some uh, distance between those two ideas, OK? So we just tell the police it was your idea, they don't think I'm desperate for money, then there'd be no motive for the roof. Right, if I take the rap for this, they could make me pay Gram back, which means I'd have to sell this place, which means I end up with nothing anyway. Right, she's not going to see you destitute. And what's she going to do with the barbers? Why? We, we just tell the police it was your idea to steal the money from Gran, OK? I got Natalie involved, got cold feet, told you not to do it, you did it anyway, and then you offered me 50% of this place to keep quiet. Well, we'd need some sort of contract or legal agreement with all this written up, wouldn't we? Did uh, retirement and transfer. Blimey, you don't mess about, do you? Yeah, well, we haven't got much time of time, might be. Don't know whether to be suspicious or impressed. Okay, well, look, just have a look over it, but uh, but do it quick. Well, you look a lot brighter today, love. <laughs> 